Hello world and welcome to my channel. This video is on um, the upgrading of the batteries in my AMDC uh, high, cruiser high side camper trailer um, and I've decided to go with AGM. Well I hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Okay cheers. Well, I finally decided to go back with AGM. I had three 100 amp hour batteries in here before, and I've gone with the King's 115 amp hour batteries, which fit in the same place. So it gives me 345 amp hours, um, and I can use half of that, which is plenty. Never had issues in the past. Um, yeah, so there they're set up there. And the leads and the batteries are all protected with fuses, of course. There's three individual leads coming from the bat so uh, so from the um, from the charger, the 240 volt charger, so it conditions the batteries each one individually and brings them up to uh, the, the perfect amount. So yeah, I decided to go with these batteries, um, mainly because of the cost. Weight wasn't an issue. Now these are the old batteries here. So they're roughly seven years old. One, two, three. Now. I went with the um, AGMs instead of lithium because of mainly cost. If I went with the cheaper lithium batteries, it would have been a thousand, at least a thousand dollars extra. Because this charger in here, which is the 240 volt smart charger that conditions the batteries, isn't suitable for lithium. I've been told. So I've had the new batteries in there on charge all night. Took all night to condition them back up um, to perfect. So I'm just going to turn that off at the moment. I always unplug it. So yeah, they, they've been on all night. Um, and I was happy with that. Voltage here, unplugged. See what it settles down to. But at the moment, it is 13.3. Now, with the old batteries, never, ever, ever did I, when I unplugged it, achieve that. It was all around about 12.7. But that is just unplugged so I'll wait for it to settle down and see what happens um, but when I put them in it was 13.1 um, and my old batteries never ever ever since I've had this camper trailer have never been that high um, they said they're all around 12.7 that's why the last time I went camping the fridge didn't work properly and that's why I had to, had to adjust it down to a lower setting. The next item to do is the inverter here. Um, the inverter I want isn't available for about two months because of this chip shortage they're having. I can get other ones that are dearer, but the amount I'm going to use it, it's not worth doing. So I'm just going to pre-order it and wait. These King's batteries, Adventure King's batteries from this 4v4 Supercenter, um, 
they're on special yesterday and they have specials every day so but they were down to $233 each um, whereas the cheapest um, lithium battery I could see was uh, Volt Volta X or Volt X from Outbox Australia um, that was um, 442 if I wanted three I rang them up and that's what they quoted me for three with free postage now as I said I have a smart battery charger in here that conditions each battery individually now that wasn't suitable for the lithium batteries and I would have had to replace that and for a decent one that I wanted it was four hundred dollars um, so you can see the, the pricing so uh, 442 times 3 which is 12 13 13 20 or something like 14 yeah, 13 20 plus another four hundred dollars um, 17 20 um, and that's for the cheapest one I could get um, if I went to um, iTech world which I was thinking about they're around eight hundred dollars um, 3 8 to 24 plus a, another 400 um, that's 2800 so that's nearly two thousand dollars more so that this will serve me well um, until I decide either to sell this camper trailer and buy a caravan or I get too old to do it but the last one's lasted me seven years, so I'm hoping this will get at least five out of these. That's the inverter in there. It's a thousand watt inverter. It doesn't work. Nothing worked on this camper trail and I got it because I got it so cheap. So I am going to be putting another one in there and I'll probably go to... I might mount it up on the side here. Somewhere there. Um, and so close to the batteries and having the inverter mounted there still trying to decide where to mount it probably no good inside there but not enough airflow yeah it's still on 13.3 volts so as I said the um, the original um, AGMs I had in here were failing because the fridge wouldn't run it on um, the highest um, battery protection setting um, and when I turned it on it went down to 12.3 which to me was, uh, was nearly drained so 13.3 is I've never seen it that high before in this camper trail it's only been around 12.7 at the highest so I'm happy with this result. Well, I hope you like this video. It's a short video showing you the upgrade I've done and the reasons for it. I know most of you would have gone to lithium, but I can't see the value in, in spending minimum a thousand bucks. Um, and and if I went to the, the better better batteries like from my tech world or something like that it'd be two thousand dollars now i can't justify that because these have done me well and weight wasn't the issue so um yeah it gives me a bit more battery power at being um, 115 uh, amp hours each where the old ones are only 100 amp hours each and um uh, that gives me uh, 345 amp hours and half of that is usable power more than enough to run coffee machines and things like that because you only have them on for about five or ten minutes at a time I have solar blankets and alternators and things like that to charge it so I'm quite happy with this result so yeah if you like this video please subscribe and give me a thumbs up cheers